uh, both engineering department. Today, I will be presenting some results of my PhD thesis, highlighting the effect of dipedotic solvent on the extraction of polyphenol from cocoa bean shell. The general procedure to obtain bioactive compounds involves some basic steps as pretreatment, separation, extraction, purification, and stabilization of molecules. Traditional techniques apply, applied for this purpose have disadvantages because they need large amounts of, of solvents, they need also longer extraction time, energy consumption, and that's why today emerging methods are being applied. And um, in this case, those methods um, comply with the with those of um, with those uh, criteria of green extraction. Those methods are employing sustainable raw materials, alternative solvents, reducing energy consumption, guaranteeing a safe extract, and ideally proposing a circular economy uh, approach to waste. Following the guidelines from, uh, of, the, um, of green extraction, dipedotic solvent are presented as the new generation of solvent that have several advantages over conventional organic solvents. They are obtained from two or more compounds whose mixture has a lower melting point than that of the separate components. Between the advantages mentioned before, we could highlight that these solvents are easily synthesized the initial component for their preparation are low cost. That is a very important issue, mainly for industrial purpose. And also they are not non-toxic materials if we're talking about natural dipedotic solvent specifically. Also they have low volatility, they are not flammable, they are recyclable and biodegradable. Uh, those are uh, some of advantages of dipedotic solvent. However, dipedotic solvent has uh, disadvantages, uh, important disadvantages, because uh, they have a uh, high viscosity. The high viscosity represents a limitation during extraction processes. So a strategy frequently applied to decrease viscosity is the mixture dilution. But this alternative weakens molecular, molecular interactions. That's why the greatest effort in this area of design have been focused on the effective design of these solvents to optimize extraction processes. Design are based on modification of physical properties of the dipedotic solvent by a properly components combination, their molar ratio, and also the water content. On the other hand, Plant residues are sustainable source of high value compounds and specifically um, uh, the world cocoa production for the last two years was 5,226 metric tons, according to the statistics reported by the International Cocoa Organization. And around 80% of total cocoa production are organic wastes, such as the per such as pericard, um, that, is, that is the other halves, cocoa bean shell and fermented mucillus. During the harvest process, which includes fermentation, drying, and roasting, biochemical reactions occur inside cocoa bean and some molecules migrate from cotyledon to periphery. And uh, then they are trapped by the shell. Thus, cocoa bean shell become rich in bioactive compounds, mainly theobromine, caffeine, and flavonoids, uh, such as catechins. So the, object, the objective of this research was to analyze the extraction kinetic of cocoa bean shell polyphenol when solid liquid extraction is performed using dipedotic solvent prepared from choline chloride in combination with lactic acid, glycerol, and ethylene glycol, as well as their aqueous, dilution, aqueous dilutions. First of all, Dipedotic solvent were prepared using choline chloride as a hydrogen bond acceptor and lactic acid glycerol or ethylene glycol were used as a hydrogen bond donor. Being called lalin, uh, glycerin, and ethylene respectively. All the mixture were prepared in a one to two ratio and then diluted. 
Solid liquid extraction was performed use, uh, using grounded cocoa shell as experimental unit and dipitotic solvent and their dilutions. Also, um, also a reference sample was treated under the same conditions, but in this case, the, uh, ethanol solution was used as a conventional solvent. After centrifugation and filtration, both supernatant and residue were analyzed. Model uh, presented in the slide was used to simulate experimental data of total phenolic content and um, the coefficients A and B were determined by, by nonlinear correlations. Characterization of a study solvent show that the formation of typical solvent using different substances like lactic acid, glycerol, or ethylene glycol, and the increase in the water content have an influence on the physical chemical properties of the, of the solvents. The greatest change was observed by, uh, for viscosity. There is a dramatic reduction of mixture viscosity when water wa content was increased. And also uh, pH was also affected, but uh, in this case, pH increased when water content increased. The effect of dilution of lipid solvent was a study analyzing infrared, infrared spectrum. Um, in the diluted solvent, we can see a slight increase in the wave number corresponding to the hydrocell functional group with respect to the pure solvent, which means a weakening of rice bond of hydrogen when water content increases. Images represent extraction kinetic of total phenolic compounds. There are difference in the performance of dipitote solvent and their dilution due to hydrogen bond donor system used in the synthesis of dipitote solvents and also due to water content of the solvent. Although the result obtained previously confirmed a weakening of the structure of dipitote solvent by the addition of water, performance of the solvent is not affected at least um, for water percentage between 30 and 50%. Moreover, as the water content increase, extraction ability of the solvent increase. Being a lattice solvent with 50% of water, the most efficient solvent for the extraction of total phenolic compounds, followed by glycerin and ethylene with 50% of water. Experimental data present a good fit to the kinetic model, showing a good correlation coefficient for all solvent studied. And as expected, diffusivity increased with increasing water content in the dipid of the solvent due to a decrease of uh, viscosity values. That uh, this decrease of viscosity allow a greater ma mass transfer from the solute to the solvent. However, the similarity between the diffusivity values corresponding to the conventional solvent used as reference and the most efficient dipitotic solvent dilutions, dilutions suggest that other mechanisms are influencing the mass transfer rate in addition to the washing diffusion phenomenon described by the model. Were analyzed by scanning electron microscopy. In the slide, figure A shows the, the residue treated by uh, uh, using a conventional solvent. It was ethanol solution in this case. And figure B, C, and D show the surface of residues treated with, with um, studied dipitotic solvents. As we can see, surface of dipitotic solvent treated residues, uh, uh, treated residues is damaged, are damaged compared to um, the residue of conventional extraction using ethanol, using ethanol solution. The interesting thing is that protein chains are exposed on the surface of the three residues treated with dipitotic solvents. solvents. The, the analysis of, of the chemical composition of the surface presented in the next table confirmed that, that statement. And as we can see, nitrogen element is not detected in cocoa shell, neither in the sample treated with conventional solvent. So this result 
Comparing the, the ability of some dipetotic solvent to hydrolyzed molecules that form the structure of, veg, of veg, vegetable plants. That explains the, the, the greater effectiveness, effectiveness of dipetotic solvent compared to conventional solvents. This study uh, presents the analysis of chemical composition of the surface of plant residues as, as, as a quantitative way to demonstrate the damage of cellular tissue caused by dipetotic solvent. And in this way, the subjective opinion regarding the visual interpretation of images could be avoided. Of course, variation of this uh, technique with respect, uh, with respect of, to other plant sources uh, with different composition should be explored. Finally, Antioxidant activity of uh, cocoa bean shell extract changed significantly with the different solvents used and is markedly higher with dipetal to solvent extract compared to control samples. The step obtained with uh, lalin containing 50% of water present the highest free radical scavenging uh, capacity. Contrary to expectations, the antioxidant capacity of extract obtained by glycerin um, and ethylene containing 50% of water is not influenced by a total phenolic content since both solvents show the same performance in total phenolic uh, content extraction as we can see in the table next. And um, however, the bar graph show a significant difference between the antioxidant capacity of, of both solvents. As final conclusion, uh, we can say that increasing the water content improves the extractability of uh, or the extraction efficiency of uh, solvents, lalin, glycerin, and ethylene. And uh, the authentic mixture, uh, choline chloride lactic acid, uh, prepared with one, uh, in a ratio of one to two ratio, diluted with 50% of water, show the best performance in the extraction and um, and the extract quality of uh, and, this, uh, and also in the extract quality. And the fixed load model adequately represents the extraction kinetic data for total phenolic compound, although it was shown that there is at least one more mechanism influencing mass transfers beyond the washing diffusion mechanisms described perfectly by a fixed load uh, model usage. So uh, thank you for, so much for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Elena, for your kind presentations. So anyone have questions or inquiries, please feel free to ask her.